Hello friends and welcome back to the part 28 of this CMS block series. In this part we will look at the concept of guards although we have seen it during our API creation but here we will look at it from angular standpoint. So why do we need the guard? We need the guard to prevent unauthorized access to our admin pages okay so right now as you can see we are here on the login screen but if i type uh, the url manually like localhost 4300 slash posts i can directly go there to the dashboard no one is there to stop me even if i'm not authenticated so we have to prevent this and for that we need to create a couple of guards okay so i'm going back to my uh project here and under my tools so tools uh, source library i'll generate a guard using angular schematic so you can do it using command line also let me show you that instead so the command is ng generate g for generate guard then you have to give it a folder name like guards and then the guard name so first will be my auth card and then the project name so my project here is tools so hit enter and what type of guard you want to generate we will be generating can activate okay it's there so if you see you'll see a new folder here and uh, with the spec file so i don't need the spec file so second guard i would need is the admin guard so the reason of creating two separate guards is that one guard will be uh, given the responsibility of one task okay so my auth guard will prevent the initial unauthorized access and my admin guard will prevent uh, the access only to the admins so if a user is not an admin the admin guard would prevent it so i'll use the guard option here and we'll name it admin and i'll skip the tests okay hit okay again can activate there we go so i have admin guard and auth guard okay i'll minimize the terminal so let's start with auth guard so first guard is my auth guard and before i implement the uh, interface here i need couple of observables here or couple of methods here so as you can see i have a user observable and an auth state observable so these are both private uh, variables of a class so i cannot access these members or these variables outside the class so i need to create a getter for both of these so how you can do that you can simply type get auth state and type return this dot auth state and this gives you a method known as as observable okay S similarly we'll say get user observable and return this dot user as observable so once you have these can go back, go back to auth card and inject the api service here in the constructor and as you can see this auth card is also a class which implements this can activate interface so you can use the constructor and the de dependency injection so api service of type api service then i can go here and i can see it 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 should return either one of these uh options or these types so in our case uh just give me a sec so i'll remove this return true and we'll say return this dot api service dot get auth state so for auth uh, auth guard i'll check the auth state and i'll use the pipe method here so using the tap operator i'll see if the current value of this get auth state observable 
uh, if there is no value or the value is false because you can see I'll get a boolean value okay as a part of this auth state so if the boolean value is false that means I'm not authenticated so I have to send the user back to the login page and for that I will use the angular router here router and I'll say this dot router dot navigate by URL login and that but if the value is true then return the value or return true okay well, what is this not all art code parts return value okay and this will return false of course so once you have this you can save the changes and see here so now if you try to access okay now we have already created the guard but we need to implement or uh, use this guard okay in our routing so i have to go to source app app routing module and here under the main component okay so i'll use can activate okay it takes an array of guards so and the order matters here so the order in which you put the names from left to right the guards will be implemented or will take effect from in in that or the same order so first card should be auth card and then you have to add the uh, admin card okay so at present i'm simply using the auth card to show you uh, show you and since we have added the guard at the parent level it will it will cascade to all the children here okay so now if you refresh and try to go to post so right now we are not authenticated it will be sent back to the login page no matter what you what you try okay it will be always sent here and if you are authenticated it will be thrown to the front end but if you refresh you see you are not authenticated so it does not uh, sustain the page refresh we will work on it uh, in the next video when we look at the registration okay so the next part is my admin guard okay so because right now uh if you go i'm not sure um s at s.com okay it says you're not, not authorized to view this page which is okay and i'm not sent forward okay but if i try like this okay it's still not doesn't work just good so let's implement the admin guard and i think uh, in my login here uh not not login the login component login component or typescript this is the section where it says uh, fail attempt you're not authorized to log in all right similarly here okay so in the admin again we'll do the same thing we'll inject the service private api service api service and that's it and the return statement will return this dot api service dot get user observable dot pipe and we'll use the map operator here so the map operator has to be imported from rxjs operators so this will return a user of type user and i'll simply return user dot roles equals to admin whether the roles property 
is admin or not if it's not it'll return false if it is there it will return true okay so i have changed the value from user to a boolean so i can show you that if i change the tab operator here and type value you'll see it is it is a boolean value now if i simply remove this it will be kind of it's giving me an error i can put this okay so i have to make it make it an make it a boolean so i'm simply doing a comparison of operation here but i don't need the tab operator here so once you get that that should be it and in the routing you have to come here and add the admin guard let's save the changes so now type s at s.com authorized to view this page but if you go w at w.com will be sent to the front end but if you refresh the session is, session is lost and you're sent back to the login page this is working perfectly fine okay i don't have any compl complaints here so in the next video we will look at the uh, registration section and how we can sustain a page refresh okay till then please like subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates and if you have anything to to suggest or share please put that in the comment section below i'll see you in the next video till then take care and keep learning bye bye